Hi, uh, this video we can take a look into dynamic resource pool configurations. So dynamic resource pool is named configuration of uh, resources and policy for scheduling these resources among yarn application so we can we can take a look into the configurations and uh, we will uh, try to create different pools and uh, allocate different priorities and uh, try with uh, some uh, sample jobs so go to the cloudera manager and uh, here near to the cloudera manager you can see clusters and dynamic resource pool configuration so I hope enterprise or enterprise trial uh, distribution is needed to test this feature. So if you are using express edition, so you need to uh, migrate to enterprise or enterprise trial version. So from clusters, so dynamic resource pool configuration. So uh, first option will list what are the available pools. Uh, pools are similar to the queues in capacity scheduler. And uh, we have scheduling rules placement rule and user limit so in placement rule so we can uh, create different uh, rules right so when i submit or when any any user submit the job so on which pool uh, it has to go so there are a lot of default pools we can configure and there are a lot of options okay so you can select any one of these okay specified at the runtime so if i choose this option so if a user specify the uh, queue name or uh, poll name at the runtime, so it will use. So I choose like a uh, root dot t uh, primary group and it create uh, if that uh, uh, that uh, poll does not exist. Okay. So let me uh, go ahead and submit uh, some sample uh, job. So I have a use user dev one and. Uh, Okay, so I have uh, two users, so dev1 and prod1. So dev1 uh, is inside, uh, the primary group is development. For prod1, the primary group is production. So I'm going to submit a job, uh, simple uh, my produce uh, example uh, code, so which is used for calculating the value of pi and 1000 mappers and 100 samples per map. So I'm submitting this job. Okay. So I have uh, configured in uh, dynamic resource pool as placement rule is something like root dot primary group. So it will go ahead and create a new queue. If I check in a scheduler, you can, uh, it's okay. I think uh, the job is not uh, started yet, it's just starting. So if I do refresh, so I can see a new queue created root dot development, which is nothing but root followed by primary group of this one. Uh, and uh, you can uh, see that uh, that is uh, using uh, how much uh, capacity it is using uh, around uh, six containers are using so and uh, six v core and uh, six gig ram so that is the total capacity so one uh, uh, pool created development and from the another user so i am uh, submitting the same or another job okay i'm doing the same uh, uh, example jar from this prod one so corresponding to this prod one so there will be new group created okay so wait uh, some time so now uh, now you can see uh, one more queue the production is also created and uh, two jobs okay so jobs are in accepted state just keep refreshing that and you can see it's almost using 50 50 so three uh, containers are running for this one and another three for the production and job okay so let me go here and uh, okay so by default uh, this may not come so you may need to do a restart or refresh uh, to show that uh, a pool in yarn so let me try to do a uh, refresh dynamic pool configuration again uh, sometimes even refresh also won't show the queue over there okay so i just did a refresh clusters and dynamic resource pool configuration it is not showing here so what i'm going to uh, going here is i'm going to create a uh, pool okay 
so first one uh, for uh, this one development I am going to create a queue for with the development okay so pool name is development and weightage is one I am not giving any other option just use that and uh, creating another uh, a pool so which is corresponding to the production okay production and that is also weightage one so I have given 50 50 weightage and created two pools so refresh dynamic resource pool here so once it is refreshed so I can go to the yarn and uh, check this resource pool okay and uh, I can uh, see uh, the allocation here so three and three it's equally distributed okay so why because I gave one and one uh, I mean the 50 50 for this production and development and if I uh, expand that okay so I, I think you have to wait some time to uh, show that uh, actual uh, result here right so this is the one okay so this dark blue corresponding to uh, production and light blue corresponding to development so both are using a 50 50 uh, share okay so uh, uh, so now uh, both are using a 50 50 uh, and if I go to uh, the dynamic resource pool okay so I can change the priority here so weightage is one and one so what I am going to do here is just give the weightage okay so uh, two for development and for production so I am giving the weightage of four so then then uh, refresh do uh, I need to do this refresh dynamic resource pool so to uh, total out of a uh, total capacity allocated to this one so 33 percentage will be uh, given to development and 66 percent 66.7 percentage will be allocated to production so only we have only two queues production and development under root so that and whatever the uh, if we have some other queue there will be uh, again a distribution so now we have only two so this percentage i'm uh, allocating so now i can go back to uh, here so then yarn resource pool and uh, see that value okay so again uh, this is 3 3 allocated so I have to wait uh, some time okay so in a minute or two uh, you can see that changes reflected here so the production uh, got highest priority because we have given the highest priority for production and the lowest priority for development so development now uh, got uh, 2 and but, but production got 4 and uh, if I uh, check here the pool configuration and uh, let me get the latest value okay so now uh, if i check uh, uh, this one you can see uh, it is using uh, the production is using very huge and uh, the development uh, very less i mean the two core and uh, again uh, we can increase or decrease that percentage from here and uh, no need to uh, restart the services go to the cluster and dynamic resource pool configuration and again if i want to increase a little bit uh, again so i can uh, do that suppose if i am changing I, I, okay at this point i feel like okay so my uh, production uh, task is almost over so i can change that priority here so change uh, this two to here and uh, i can change or, or increase the priority here right and uh, refresh that so uh, at this time so the production will get highest priority I mean the 66 percentage and the uh, sorry development will get 66 percentage and production will get 33 percentage so I can uh, go to this resource manager and uh, see that difference right the production usage is reduced and the development usage increased so the same thing I can uh, check here so go to the yarn then uh, resource pool 
and uh, okay so i think uh, it is not updated so let me go to the latest and updated value okay so let me uh, expand this so now you can see a, a change here right so the development so this is the development so light uh, blue it is development and which uh, got around four cores and at this time uh, our production is getting only two so this way uh, we can increase or decrease uh, uh, the percentage or weightage uh, on each uh, poles then uh, the second option we have one more option scheduling rules so click that so we can add so there is only one default scheduler uh, uh, rule available so it will run when all other rules does end up play so if no other rules it will take this default rule right so i'm going to create a uh, rule then uh, just typing a weekend right so select the saturday and sunday and uh, uh, creating okay so i just created a rule with weekend so i can go back to the resource pool Okay, so I am giving a uh, very high priority uh, at the weekend for development activities. So I can edit here and uh, uh, okay, so default is uh, four, okay, default I am giving. So two uh, for the development, very less priority at the uh, default, I mean uh, the weekday or any other day. And uh, uh, for a weekend, I am giving a weightage of four, right? And for the production, uh, uh, for a default, I am giving a high priority and a weekend low priority, something like that. So similarly, we can uh, create uh, multiple uh, scheduling rules. Okay, say for example, I am creating a new one with evening. Okay, so every day, including sat I, I mean uh, ex excluding Saturday and Sunday, and uh, after uh, 5 p.m. to uh, 9 p.m. okay so 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. so I am giving for development activities so I can uh, go to this resource pool and again edit here and for evening so what is this uh, priority I need to give uh, for this particular queue okay so for evening I am giving highest priority so similarly we can uh, visualize that for default what is the uh, priority or what is the weightage and weekend what is the weightage so evening what is the weightage so if you have multiple uh, uh, scheduling options so you, it will uh, show that and uh, we can configure our weightage also the resources minimum resources and maximum resources here and uh, there is an option uh, scheduling policy so here we can define so what is the type of scheduling we need to use within a pool so there are chances like multiple jobs submitted to uh, a pool okay so we have different options like drf stands for dominant resource fairness so it is nothing like uh, but a fairness scheduling based on cpu and memory and simple fair uh, option is that that will consider only memory and fifo so if I configure any of this uh, option here, so my uh, pool will behave according to this. Okay. So we have a ACL and all. I'm not covering that uh, part here. So this is how we can uh, configure that and we can edit that. So scheduling rules and the placement rule, as I said earlier. So this is uh, how the job submit. When, when Whenever we submit the job, so how it plays uh, this job into different pools. So by default we may not supply the queue name so even if you are not supplying so how to submit into different different uh, pools so here we can uh, we have that option to configuration so once we made any uh, changes so we can uh, do a refresh dynamic resource pool so no need to uh, restart the services okay so this is how we can uh, change uh, the resourcing uh, i mean the allocation option by uh, using the dynamic resource pool okay so we can create the different different pools and we can assign the priorities or a weightage and the scheduling policy also we can uh, define so i hope uh, uh, you are clear with the topic and also if you uh, have any uh, questions so please use the comment box 
Also, subscribe to my channel to get more updates. Thank you. Bye.